The Powerhouse PX-10 is the ideal digging machine for excavation around the house, weekend construction projects, or anywhere larger backhoes cannot fit. The ability of the PX-10 to get into spaces where industrial backhoes cannot makes it a very useful tool. As with all tools, safe use of the equipment is the responsibility of the operator. This video will outline general safety concerns to avoid situations that could result in property damage, injury, or death, and highlight information that the operator should know. While this video will cover basic operation and safety features of the PX-10, it is the ultimate responsibility of the operator to ensure that the machine is operated in a manner that is safe for you and anyone near the machine. For all operating and safety instructions concerning the Powerhouse PX-10, you should review the Owner's Manual and Safety Guide. It is the best source for information on safe operation of the PX-10. Before operating the PX-10, make sure you are dressed for the job. Do not wear loose clothing or anything that could get caught on the machine controls. You should wear a hard hat and protective eyewear along with proper footwear. Make sure the work area is clear of debris, bystanders, and animals before beginning to work. Always look before swinging the boom. Never allow riders on the PX-10, and never allow anyone under the age of 16 to operate the machine. Call local companies to have all utility lines marked before digging, and do not dig near these areas. Serious injury or death can occur as a result of hitting utility lines in addition to significant property damage and utility liability. Avoid operating the PX-10 near flammable materials such as gasoline or other materials that could ignite from a spark. To start the PX-10, turn the on-off switch to the run position. Set the choke and the throttle to high. Pull on the starting cord until the engine starts. Push the choke back in and pull the throttle back to about 25% and let the machine idle a minute or so to warm up. Never attempt to operate the PX-10 from anywhere other than the operator's seat. Operating the controls from the ground can cause the boom arm, bucket, or the entire chassis to suddenly move, increasing the risk of danger to you or others. When entering or exiting the PX-10, it is important to always maintain three-point contact with the machine. Always face the machine. Use the grab handles and the safety treads to brace yourself. Operating the PX-10 with your feet forward of the safety treads can cause the boom arm to pinch your feet and legs. Always operate the PX-10 while comfortably seated with the seatbelt snugly fastened. Never operate the PX-10 without wearing the seatbelt. When operating the PX-10, move the control levers to get the feel and direction of movement of the controls before digging. The PX-10's control panel has five levers. The two center levers control the left and right tracks in a skid steer motion. Pushing both of these levers forward will engage the tracks forward. Pulling both levers back will engage the tracks in reverse. Be sure to always look in the direction of travel. By pushing the right lever forward and the left lever back, the PX-10 will turn to the left. And doing the opposite will turn the PX-10 to the right. The small lever to the immediate left of the left track control operates the PX-10's backfill blade. The blade serves two primary purposes, backfilling a hole and stabilizing the machine while digging. Push the lever forward and feel the blade make contact with the ground. To lift the blade from the ground, simply pull back on the backfill blade control lever. The far left control lever controls the backhoe's boom arm motion. Pushing the lever forward lowers the boom arm. Pulling back on the lever raises the boom arm. Pushing the lever to the left will swing the boom arm to the left. And pushing the lever to the right will swing the boom arm to the right. The far right lever controls the backhoe's dipper arm and bucket. Pushing the lever forward extends the dipper arm out. Pulling the lever back curls the dipper back toward the operator. Pushing the lever to the left curls the bucket toward the operator. And pushing the lever to the right dumps the bucket's load. With practice, 
the use of both the boom control lever and the dipper control lever simultaneously will have you digging deep holes fast and effortlessly in no time at all. Traveling on slopes can be hazardous, so please follow the following safety rules. Always have the boom and bucket low and on the uphill side of the machine. Never travel on slopes greater than 15 degrees. Always be on the lookout for uneven terrain, especially on a slope. The PX-10 comes with a two-post ROPS, or Rollover Protective Structure, which guards the operator in the event of a rollover. Always remain seated with your seatbelt firmly fastened to ensure your safety. Always avoid steep areas, banks, drop-offs, and ground that could break away. When going downhill, travel slowly and avoid any sudden turns. When operating on a slope, level the work area before beginning an excavation. Avoid traveling over rough objects such as large rocks, stumps, or other debris. If you must park on a slope, never park with the tracks pointed downhill. When exiting the machine, always bring the PX-10 to a stop on level ground. Lower the blade to the ground, then unbuckle your seatbelt. The PX-10 is equipped with a control lever lockout. The lockout should be engaged before leaving the machine. This protects from accidental swinging or lowering of the boom while entering and exiting the machine. When exiting the PX-10, always face the machine, maintaining three-point contact. The PX-10 is small enough to be towed behind a light truck or SUV. Always have the trailer connected to the towing vehicle when loading or unloading the PX-10. The PX-10 should always be loaded onto the trailer with the backhoe facing forward. Therefore, you will need to back down the ramp when coming off the trailer. When loading the trailer, carefully drive forward up the ramp. Before towing the PX-10, you should make sure that all chains are securely fastened at the appropriate tie-down points on the machine. Tighten each chain with its ratchet. The ball on the vehicle's towing receiver must be the same size as the tow hitch. Secure the tow hitch to the truck or SUV by first pressing down on the handle and then securing the locking pin. Crisscross the safety chains underneath the tow hitch and attach the trailer light plug. Check the functionality of the trailer's rear brake lights and turning signals before towing. You should contact your local DOT for all rules regarding towing a trailer. Read your owner's manual for a more complete list of safety precautions. And remember, there's no substitute for alertness and common sense when operating equipment. It is impossible to cover every situation that could be dangerous. By being aware of your surroundings and using good judgment and safety practices, you will protect yourself and those around you. Remember, it is the responsibility of the operator to ensure the PX-10's safe and proper use. The PX-10's easy maneuverability and small size will help you breeze through even the most demanding digging project. Just remember to keep safety first.